Yo, what's going on guys? Shake and Bank back and yes, today we're going to be talking some NBA 2K17 news. Now, this is public information. Hopefully I don't get in trouble for saying something that is public information. But um, yeah, with further ado, I introduce you guys to the NBA 2K17 achievements. Yes, now I was debating on whether I'd do a video on this. I finally saw them and I was like, okay, there's a few things in here that I definitely wanted to point out. And a couple of things that I may have been right on, actually. Um, yeah, there was one thing that I thought might be coming back for my team this year. I think I even mentioned it in a video. I'm not too sure if I did. I definitely know I told Nick when I was talking to him. I was like, yo, I bet that's going to be back in my team this year. No one had said anything about it. But because of one of these achievements, I think it is. But uh, I'm, I'm kind of rambling right now. Let me just get down and uh, read these to you. But I want to read the bottom ones first. Because those are the My Team ones. So, uh, yeah, let's actually go down and look at the My Team ones. You guys can see it says, just say no to uh, purchasing a card in My Team. Then it also has an achievement for acquiring a Ruby player, which we already knew there were going to be Rubies and Sapphires and all those type of tiers. If you haven't seen my other video on My Team, be sure to check it out. Link will be in the description, of course. It also says History Lesson, which is Unlock Historic Domination, which we've already known. I mean, we knew it from this year, where you beat Normal Domination, then you get the Historic one. So, it's the same thing for next year. Nothing has changed there. Another one of those achievements for Domination, where you earn the 99 stars on both of them, and that gets you a total of 198. Pretty simple. I mean, that was in the game again this year. Then we get into some new stuff. To the victor and go the spoils. Now, honestly, it says earn a challenge token and a challenge prize. I think those have to do with, uh, again, I think it could be the gauntlet, you know, where you get to choose a player. Those are the tokens and maybe. And then I guess the, uh, the prizes could be the players maybe. Or it could be from the actual challenges themselves. And then the challenge prizes could be the prizes from just those. I'm not really too sure on that. Again, I didn't get brought out there to play my team. I've yet to see it, so I really don't know, but those are two more achievements. And then the next one is the one that I uh, reassured me that I think the black market will be back in this year's game. I think they liked the idea of the black market. I liked the idea as well, but it was executed so poorly. And this code, this says right here, um, solve a code in my team. And it says, Psst, and it's got a little picture of a, a figure guy. Yeah, I know my sound effects are pro, but uh, I think that is the black market returning. I think... Last year, they called it Solve a Code as well for the rune, or Solve a Rune, I think maybe they said, a rune code, but it was an achievement last year. The Black Mirror was in the game, and uh, I think it'll be returning in some form or way for NBA 2K17, my team, so something new that a lot of people probably didn't know. And we do have a couple of more my team uh, achievement, I guess, achievements, but uh, it's nothing but net and next level, which are find points cards and make a basket and blacktop. And then reach level 10 in my team blacktop. Now, I really didn't know there was going to be levels like that. And I actually skipped over one of the most important achievements for my team on this list. And that was actually to Deja Vu, which is a prestige in my team online. Now, we don't know if there's going to be multiple prestiges or just one. But pretty crazy, man. How you are able to go, you're going to be able to complete it all. And then say, you know what? Let me run it back. And maybe get some new prizes and things like that and get that little, uh, I guess, symbol next to your name is what the guys who went out there, um, they get, I guess, that, that lets you, people know that you, you got balls or something. I don't know. You've been playing way too much my team. You haven't seen the sun in eight years. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, those are the my team section of it. I will read off some of the other ones that uh, are kind of interesting, but I really don't want to read the, uh, what's called, the my career ones. I mean, they're pretty much, it's pretty simple, but some of them definitely spoil the... Uh, Spoil the plot line a little bit. Like, I, I don't know if I, I want to read those. Y'all can see them on the screen right now. Y'all can definitely check them out in the description. Uh, you can see some stuff for playing out online, for beating teams, winning 10 games, stuff like that. Then there's also some things like make five jump pass assists in a single game. No clue what that is. Is that where you're like jumping in the air and then you're trying to shoot and you instead change to a pass? That is jump pass. I have no clue, but. Yeah, and then there is another one for earning every trophy in NBA 2K17, which honestly it doesn't sound as hard as it was last year. Last year, I'm pretty sure one of the um one of the well, what's it called? One of the achievements was collect all the runes and like collect you know the uh, what it was it collect all the cards in my team. Like there were some crazy ones last year that were really hard or sweep the first seed and this and that. Like there was definitely a couple harder ones. And then uh, yeah, this year <laughs> nothing about all the runes or anything like that. 
So, I mean, maybe, maybe it's different, but maybe the black market isn't, but I think it is. I mean, solving a code, that really does seem like the black market to me. But, yeah, those are the achievements. There are also some things about park and park cards, which does sound interesting, and a couple of rival day ones, win some rival days, go shirtless, earn rookie three reps. So there's some cool stuff in here, but nothing really too telltale that I can see from just those. We got a couple my GM ones as well with the expansion team. That's a pretty easy one to do. But, yeah, uh, I hope you guys did enjoy the quick video on some NBA 2K17 news that I've yet to see. Uh, again, I gotta say shout out to my boy DJ Malbert for hitting me up on Twitter like, yo, the achievements are out. And I was like, oh, cool. Uh, let's check that out. <laughs> so, yeah, those are the achievements. I will have a link to this website down in the description. And, yeah, hopefully none of my stuff gets flagged down because this is a public information video. Like, this is a website. I don't own this website. <laughs> so, yeah. But then again, the last time I said this, I lost my Twitter. So, okay. But that is the uh, news for this video. I hope you guys did enjoy. Peace, man. <laughs>